Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Okay, we're gonna do uh, an unboxing of something that we've been really excited about. I'm Curtis, this is Cheech, Fly Fish Food. Howdy. And so you've, uh, you can see here we've got a package from Loop. And as uh, soon as we saw their new rods come out the other day, the uh, uh, bell started going off and we needed to order some. So we got these in the mail. We're going to open them up here with our uh, handy hairline box cutter. Hashtag unboxing video. Unboxing. Because we heard unboxing videos are the way to go. All right. They did send us stuff. Okay, so you can see we've got our fancy box with the cross SX on there. They even sent you one too. Yeah, we'll set that aside. And plenty of bubble wrap to get things padded in there. Ow, my ears hurt. They gave me two reels and they didn't give you one. <laughs> and so what we went with here are the uh, Opti Dry Fly uh, reels to go with the rod. Now, one thing with Loop, they really work to balance their system. So their reels match very nicely and balance very nicely with the rods. and their lines too. So we've got some Evotech uh, weight forward five floaters here. And let me help you out here. That is That's it. all of it. So again, we've got the rod, reel, and line. And one of the things with these uh, loop outfits. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Oh. We'll open it the right way. <laughs> Let me talk about this rod for a second. I'm a noob anyways. Yeah. What do I know? Curtis, he just runs the camera around here. No. But Curtis was talking about that they they have a, a balance system. So, cool boxing. They've got some padding on each side. And similar to the Cross S1, it's in an aluminum tube. But... It's black. Pretty cool. We'll put this reel aside. And you can register this if you want to. All right? Do you register rods when you get them? Not usually. Yeah? Maybe we should register one as like Wyco Flyco or something like that. They would never send us anything else. Um, do you want to open the rod or do you want me to? Go for it. Yes. All right. So one thing, I can never ever get it tied back up how it is. So this is the only time that my rod will be tied up like this. So it's a four piece rod. And let's see what happens when we open it up. All right. Starting so to look legit. You can have those three pieces and I'll take this one. You can already tell this is a good rod by the way you do this. Oh, geez. Curtis has been LARPing in the park and he's the, the fairy godmother. All right, so um, I love these reel seats. They're super lightweight. One thing that I realized when I when I got my, my nine foot five weight Cross S1 is it was about as light as a three weight but really powerful. So this rod's no different. Um, so you can see the, the cool reel seat here. Um, it's got a little bit of rubberized cork on the ends of each, or each end of the grip here, and very high quality cork. One thing we always tell people, take the plastic off before you fish it, okay? Unless you're one of those people that likes to put your plastic on your living room furniture and leave yeah. it there. If you have the plastic on your furniture, you need to 
get a life before you start fishing. Anyway, just kidding. If that offended anybody, my name's Curtis. I apologize. All right, so, um, so the, really and sincerely though, if you don't take the plastic off the cork before you fish it, water will get up in there and you'll get mold. Not a good situation. But anyway, um, that's the rod. One, one cool thing, I, I will point this out, is it does have dots that line up with the model and make of the uh, make and model of the rod so that you just line it up here. So there aren't two dots, it'll tell you what rod this goes to. So if you're like Curtis and you have 48 loop rods and you lose one of the pieces, you'll know exactly where it is. Also, um, the other rods have recoil guides. These have a, a different stripping guide and snake guides. What's good about that that I've found is I've been fishing some of the textured series lines from scientific anglers as well. And sometimes those textured lines make a little bit of noise when you're stripping it through those uh, recoil guides. But, on the other hand, the recoil guides are very, very durable. So, anyway, they're using really good components here. Yeah, that's one thing, again, with the balance system that we liked with Loop, especially when we started casting the S1, they're fast uh, rods by nature, uh, which it's not just the speed of the rod, it's also the performance on what it does, both casting, mending, picking line off the water, and <clears throat> again, the reels and the lines, everything's balanced. So, um, and I mean, for me, it, I have not really cast many rod reel combos that match up and balance as well as these loops do. And I'm sure the uh, SX will do the same. So the again, the reel we have here is an Opti, uh, Opti. series, and it's the dry fly model. And you've got the uh, signature L on the back. At least I assume that's what it is. And um, it's a seven. It's, oh, sorry, it's a seven. I was looking at it upside down. And uh, these are just awesome reels. I've, I've used these before um, and, and just tough to beat the quality of this reel. Let's show what it looks like on here. So one cool thing about this, this reel seat is it's kind of a triangular shape. So you're not, you know, sticking your reel on here and rotating it around to try to fit where it, or find where it fits in the slots. If you stick it in the reel seat, it sits flat, it will not rotate. So it makes it really easy just to, to slide it forward. There is a rubber gasket on the inside of this, uh, this screwy part that uh, actually locks tight, it won't loosen as you fish it. That, that is a scientific name for that screwy, screwy, the screwy part. part yeah. Yeah. I, I was a mechanical engineer before I started designing airplane lavatories. So. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so that's that's basically it. There, there's no click sound to it. It's a very silent reel. So if you're one of the dudes that likes to have a really loud reel so you can tell your buddies when you have a fish on. There's an app you can get and it will start clicking. So you catch a fish, you have it on, you just push the button on the app and it starts to make the clicking sound. I usually get And it, it throws in there, hey guys. <laughs> yeah, okay. I usually click, get click, a, click, hey guys. I usually get a duck call and just start blowing it <laughs> incessantly when I hook a fish. Or just say, Zzzz. Exactly. I don't really do that. Okay. So, and again, the line, uh, they make good lines and uh, it's part of the whole balance system. If, uh, if you're interested in knowing more about the loop, I'm sure you can find out plenty of information on their website and uh, We'll be doing more uh, on-stream casting reviews with this one as well, so.